or like month has been just a total shit show. I'm aware that I literally have no real problems. I'm fully aware, but I feel like everything is in shambles. First off, right now I am sitting outside Barry's Boot Camp in LA and I just dropped off my friend Erin who's visiting from Vancouver this weekend to go do her workout at Barry's. Why am I not joining her? Because I literally have not worked out in six months. Six months. That is a long ass time to not work out. And like, just for my mental health, is that being like the only reason I should be working out? I need to like get that together again and like get that in order because I'm <laughs> losing it. <laughs> Can I leave now? Another reason I feel like my life is in shambles, I have had modeling jobs every single day, like weekends included, for the last month. This is my priority, this is what I should be doing, and I need to be a little bit more selective when it comes to the photo shoots I say yes to, so I'm really sorry that I've been so shit at uploading. Um, it's just, it's been a month. I asked you in, I think like a couple videos ago, <laughs> to send me questions for a Q&A. I figured I would just answer them for you right now since we're here and we have time. So let's do it, let's do a little Q&A, a little Q&A action. So a lot of the questions you sent me, a lot of them are about Troy, so I guess maybe this is gonna be juicy. So MD Sanid, thank you for sending me so many questions. You're awesome and I love all your comments. Your first question is, when will you marry your boyfriend? How do you spend your free time? I don't know, uh, honestly, I want to say like doing really productive things, but when I'm not working, I kind of just watch Netflix and eat. Sometimes all you want to do is watch Netflix, have a fat glass of wine, and eat a pizza. And that's really how I spend my free time, so yeah. Do I have any brothers or sisters? No, I'm an only child, and I really hope that you don't say like, oh, I could tell you're an only child, because I don't think that people mean good things when they say that, so yes. I'm an only child. <laughs> what is my future plan? That's a big question. I'm just trying to figure out how to have it all figured out. I wish I could say I was one of those people who has like every step of their life planned out, but the truth is I'm just figuring it out as I go. That's kind of it. Okay, I'm so sorry if I just wreck your name, but Jontus, Yuntus, thank you for commenting and thank you for watching. Um, your questions were about Troy as well. How long have we been dating? Where did we meet? So Troy and I met in Austin, Texas, and we have been dating for, I think like a year and a half now, maybe? About that. How did he catch North America's most fantastic woman? <laughs> Thank you, stop. But like, don't stop. I feel like Troy and I, we are both have a very weird sense of humor. I think having a sense of humor that someone else understands is like essential in a relationship, especially when you're as weird as I am. I'm very anxious, Troy is very calm. I think that we really just complement each other really well. Like we're a very good yin and yang. So yeah. Um, the cost of living in different countries. I feel like I can make a whole video on that because we spent so much time in Costa Rica, we spent a lot of time in the US, we spent a lot of time in Mexico, but I would say Canada and the US, hands down, are the highest cost of living, especially in like Vancouver and California. It's just really expensive, it's the unfortunate truth. Oh, and you also asked, is Troy willing to be in the video? Is he camera shy? Troy's just not a social media guy. He like films with me and helps me film because he loves me, but I don't think if he was like, if he had a choice, he wouldn't do it on his own. So I'm not gonna make him be in this video. Maybe one day we can convince him to do a little Q and A or a video with me, we'll see. But I also respect that he just like doesn't love being on camera. So I'm doing my best to be respectful of that. So Merlin308, thank you for watching. You asked me, what is my favorite comfort food? I am very passionate about food and it's really hard for me sometimes to eat super healthy all the time when I really just wanna be eating pizza at every meal. So I think if I was to have to say my favorite food, this is gonna be super weird and probably kind of like, <laughs> I don't know, it's just weird. My favorite food is definitely corn tortilla chips that are like salted with some lime. Like I said, so weird, but like if I was to die tomorrow, I would want corn tortilla chips dipped in tzatziki sauce or tzatziki. It's like Greek yogurt with uh, cucumber and stuff like that. That's what I would want as my last meal. 
Um, and what do I like to cook and bake? I like to eat mostly vegan at home. I would say I'm like 60% vegan, 20% pescatarian, meaning I eat like fish and dairy. And then the other 20% of my life is just go crazy and eat whatever I want, AKA pizza, pasta, meat, whatever. All right, I think that's it for the questions. Thank you guys for sending me those questions. Don't be shy. If you wanna say hi, say hi in the comments. And yeah, let's be YouTube friends. Anywho, I'm gonna go pick up Aaron and I will see you shortly. <laughs> Is. is it open? Oh, I don't know how to open the door. How was it? It was good. I want to go back tomorrow. Seriously? Yeah. Oh my god, you're my hero. <laughs> Let's eat. We're now on 3rd Street Promenade, and remember how I mentioned I have a Guatemala trip coming up? Well, it's for a wedding, and naturally, I'm unprepared, and we're leaving in like two days, and I have nothing to wear. So, I need to find a dress so I'm not just like naked at the wedding. I feel like that's frowned upon. Also, I don't want to be sweating balls, so it needs to be like light, but appropriate, you know? Anyhow, let's shop. moments where I'm like, do I just push through and keep filming or do I tell the fucking truth? <laughs> 